Today I'm going to show you how to access some hidden preferences in Ableton Live. Now some of these preferences include things such as record arm on selection. As you can see right now when I select a track, the record arm button does not transfer. There are also some really great optimization boosts for both PC and Mac. So in the new Silicon Max, there's an option to bypass some of the latency introduced by the power saving mode by default on Max. And also there's a way to kind of decelerate your graphics card usage on PC. And finally, if you have multiple controllers that can launch scenes at the same time, there's an option to give you separate control windows for your clip launches. So if I connect my push here, you can see this little bracket around. If I had another push or an APC, we'd be able to get actually two separate clip launching windows. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna be starting with PC. If you have a Mac, skip ahead to the timestamp below, but you're gonna to wanna to open your file browser, go up to this top part here and type percent app data capital A, capital D, and then another percent sign. And that's gonna bring you to this roaming folder. Within here, we're gonna go into Ableton. You'll select the version you want to edit. We want 12. Here you have another preferences folder. And now we're where we want to be. We can actually right click anywhere within this folder, go to new, and this is important. You're gonna to wanna to select text document. And now the most important step is you're gonna to wanna to name this options with a lowercase o. So we have options.txt, and now we can come in here and edit this file. All right, so we're here on the Mac, and the first thing that we need to do is hit command space to open up our text edit. So we could just type in text edit, and this will open this up. And what we need to do is come over to format and make this a plain text. This is going to allow us to save this with command S as a plain.txt file. Now this is important, we need to name this file options, and for now we can just save it to the desktop. And that's options with a lowercase o. So we'll save that, and now we have this little text file on our desktop, we can close this. And now we're gonna go to the finder and show you how to get to Ableton's directory. So you're gonna wanna go to your username, mine is that, and if you don't see these hidden files, you can hit command shift period and command shift period will bring up your hidden files. You can come to this folder called library. And if you scroll down, there's another folder called preferences for all of your apps. And here we have Ableton at the top. I only have live 11 here, but that's not gonna make a difference. We can drag this options.txt right in there and then open it again to edit it, command S to save. And we've got our hidden preferences. So there's a few different commands that we can put into this options.txt. The first one I'm gonna show you is enable arm on selection. And that's what we talked about in the beginning where if you select a track, the arm button will also be selected on that track. Next, we have a Mac specific feature that kind of targets the latency introduced by the low power saving mode that Mac introduces in its new silicone chips. Next, we have a similar option for both Mac and Windows, disable graphics hardware acceleration. And so Live's UI obviously has a lot of going on. There's a lot of colors and things. And so we can kind of minimize the effect that that will have on our CPU usage. Next up, and this might be the coolest one, but we have don't combine APCs. And this is gonna give us that extra box once we have multiple controllers plugged in that have the capabilities of scene launching. So this options TXT looks good for me. I'm actually going to take out this Apple Silicone burst workaround just because I'm on PC at the moment, but I will leave in disable graphics hardware acceleration, don't combine APCs and enable arm on select. So I'm gonna hit control S to save on Windows, command S if you're on Mac, and then we can go ahead and close that and we should be good to go. Now, after doing this, if at any time you experience any weird behavior from live, you can definitely go back in here, follow the same steps, edit these, take them out, or even delete the entire options.txt file. For now, we're gonna leave it in, close down live, and then we'll reopen it, and our options should be available to us. Okay, so we're back in live. Let's record arm this MIDI, select another track, and you can see that it is record armed like it was not in the beginning. So that is how to basically hack Ableton to find the hidden preferences and some awesome hidden settings. I'll leave a link to the Ableton article where they discuss a few more settings in detail and then you can have fun with that. 
Let me know if you want to see more videos like this or even videos on Max for Live. I've been dipping my toes into some plugin creation and would love to share with you guys what I've come up with. See you next time.